What's up everybody, it's Ion Rogue here and today I bring you some footage to help you Red Dead players get your perfect rabbit pelt. Okay, the first thing we want to look at is we want to understand the game's parameters when it comes to completing this task. That's the first thing we really, really should look at, okay? What the game is asking you to do in order to get that perfect rabbit pelt. As you can see, I'm tracking a rabbit with three stars right now, okay? But what the game is asking you to do is exactly what you would have to do in real life. Um, it wants you, basically, the 22 caliber varmint rifle round has to pass through one side of the rabbit's head and exit the other side, okay? The ideal position for this shot is going to be with you facing the side of the rabbit's body or when the rabbit pokes its head up and above its body, okay? So apparently if I shot the rabbit in the wrong position, it would damage the pelt and bring the star down, but if a horse runs it over, it's perfectly fine. I don't know. They tried to make it, this game as realistic as possible, guys. So, anyway, the bullet's direction has a lot to do with successfully completing this, guys. So, like I said before, through one side of its head and out the other, clean. That means that it can't enter the rabbit's face and then go into its body and come out somewhere else, okay? That otherwise, you're going to damage the pellet, okay? So, I can't stress it enough that the real, the real challenge here is making sure that you get that shot the right way. Um, now, I've noticed some other um, some other videos and walkthroughs online where they're asking you to just get on your horse and ride around, and as soon as you see the rabbit, you pull out your varmint rifle and you use your dead eye and you aim for the head, and you you know make sure that you're aiming for the head and then you fire. You know that's that's one way to do it. I I I'm not gonna deny that that's not a, a method you could take, but the problem with that method is that it doesn't guarantee results. And the reason why it doesn't guarantee results, guys, is because the rabbit is moving and the horse is moving. So the, the, the trajectory of the round could change at any moment, okay? And you could easily miss the shot, and the three stars are, uh, that guarantee the perfect pelt could disappear because the bullet passed through the rabbit's body. Okay, there's no way of guaranteeing that perfect shot. So what you're seeing me do right now is exactly what you would have to do in real life in order to get a perfect rabbit pelt. And the reason why I know this is because my little brother actually shoot, uh, hunts rabbits with a pellet gun. Everybody else uses a shotgun and it's just completely ridiculous. It's way too much gun for a rabbit, okay? If you're looking for a clean pelt, this is what you want to do if you want guaranteed results, okay? We're going to wait for the ideal shot here. We're tracking the rabbit, okay? And we're going to wait for a side shot where the rabbit pokes its head up above the rest of its body, and we're able to make sure that that round passes clean through its head in one side and out the other, and thereby not damaging the re any any area of the rest of the rabbit's body okay so as you can see here he is this this particular shot is not ideal because there's bushes we don't know exactly what we're hitting there we go his head is up and we're just going to activate dead eye land it on him one shot that was perfect okay the bullet passed clean through the rabbit's face and out the other side guaranteeing the three star pelt okay Let me just point out that Rockstar made this game extremely realistic, or as, at least as realistic as they possibly could. And so that's why this is so crucial, because this is, like I said, exactly what you would have to do in real life. You wouldn't be able to get on your horse and ride around, and n nobody's that good of a shot, guys, okay? Nobody, nobody's going to get on their horse and ride through the plains and aim at a rabbit and get a perfect shot through the head. No, okay? If you're that good, 
You should be in the movies or something. I don't know. I'm going to do this again with a raccoon real quick, just for the heck of it. Just to show you, there's the raccoon. We got a side approach. One shot to the head, and the job's done. Okay? And as you will see, perfect raccoon pelt. Okay? So, while I won't deny that running around on the horse and aiming at it, you could get things done that way. I didn't have very much success with it, so I decided to go with the route of realism, which is exactly what the game was designed for. Um, I mean, you can try getting on your horse and, and trying to get that, that headshot in there, but like I said, before at any given time the horse could turn the rabbit could turn the trajectory could change at any given moment if both the rabbit and the horse are in motion does that make sense <clears throat> so what you just seen me doing there was I'm, I'm actually on to the next challenge after after uh, the three perfect rabbit pelts most players that's probably why you're trying to do this is because there's a hunter challenge where you have to get three perfect rabbit pelts for most of you that's what you're trying to go for I'm just gonna show the shot one more time you see this that's not an ideal shot so I had to back out it's gotta be right on the tip of his face just boom okay it can't be too far back it's gotta go right through his head otherwise you wanna back out of the shot and try again Okay. So if you're looking for those three rabbit pelts to complete that challenge, this is definitely going to get you there. Yep. So let's look at this one more time. I'm on my horse, and there we go. We've got a three-star black, uh, black-tailed jackrabbit. There's actually two of them right here, and they're both perfect. They both have the three stars, but unfortunately we can only focus on hunting one at any given time, if we're going to do this right. So as you can see, these things are pretty fast and they're very skittish. That's why I don't recommend trying to do this riding around on your horse, because they can change trajectory at any time. These things are fast, they're small. I mean, yes, you have the dead eye, but... I tried it for like 45 minutes and I didn't get any results. Every time I hit it, I was slight off just ever so slightly that it damaged the pelt. This method guarantees the pelt. Okay, here we have a side view of the rabbit. He's up there above the bushes, side view, enter dead eye, move towards its head very slowly, and take your shot guaranteed okay if you're doing it that way because the bullet like I said before the game's parameters we're going off the game's parameters it's got to pass through one side of its head and out the other if you want to try calling to it to make its head pop up you probably could go from the rear and through the front but I wouldn't recommend going th through the front to the rear because you could end up the bullet could end up passing through the rabbit's head and out some part of its body, thereby damaging the pelt, okay? So as you've seen, I just finished the challenge to get the three perfect pelts, and the next one is track ten different animal species using your binoculars, okay? That's what you should be looking at once you're done. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this helps out. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed the video and lend a comment in the comment section and uh, Ion Rogue out.